Hey, Ruben. Yeah? You see the news last night? No. You know, I never do. Apparently some guy disappeared in Seattle, like, three days ago. Oh. That sucks. What does? Some guy died. What guy? The guy you were just talking about. Never said the guy died. Just said he disappeared. There's a difference? Yes, there's a difference. I said the guy disappeared, didn't I? I never said that he died. No, I said he disappeared. Well, see, I thought you meant to say he... Never mind. Are you messing with me? No, what makes you say that? People don't just disappear. Sure they do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, see, a couple of months ago, my cousin, he went to the Bahamas, and he seemed to have disappeared, but he really just ran off with a bunch of money. Of course, we found him about three weeks ago, so he didn't stay hidden forever. So did this guy in Seattle do something similar? Nope. Let me guess, he went to Turkey instead. Nah, he just, poof, disappeared off the face of the earth. People don't just disappear off the face of the earth, Jerry. This guy did just up and disappeared. What are you even saying? They said on the news this guy disappeared. He just went poof. Oh, yeah? You believe that? Not at first, but then they showed security cam footage. Oh? I got this footage from one of the security cams outside one of those clubs on Aurora Avenue. There's this guy, see? He just walks outside the building right in front of the security camera. He was looking around himself, all nervous-like, and he kind of looked a bit like a businessman. He was just kind of looking around, trying to make sure nobody was following him, and then just gone, just like that. Are you sure he didn't just run away? No, see, he actually dissolved right in front of the camera. It was, he was there one second, wasn't there the next. Huh, weird. Anyways, the thing about this guy is that he left no trace behind no fingerprints, and he disappeared right before the camera was able to get a good shot of his face. He didn't even, like, leave a footprint on Besides, if they were able to get a fingerprint, those places are so full of fingerprints, nobody would really know if it's actually his. How do you know all this? Are you some kind of detective? I'm just repeating what the police officer on the TV said. I have absolutely no idea what actually happened. At any rate, none of the workers actually knew who this guy was. Most of them didn't really talk to the cops. Except for one of them, who gave the cop a napkin. Who gives someone a napkin? I don't really know. She said some nervous guy wearing an overcoat looking like a businessman gave it to her right before he ran out of the room they were using. Using for what? I don't really know. I haven't Googled the place in a long time. Maybe dancing? I don't know. Probably. So do you want to know what the guy wrote on the napkin? Wait, he wrote something on the napkin? Yeah, he did. Didn't I just say that? No. Yes, I did. I just asked you, do you want to know what the guy wrote on the napkin? That was a question. You didn't tell me that before asking the question. I think it counts if I told you in the question. That doesn't make any sense. It makes sense to me. Just tell me what the guy wrote on the napkin. He wrote one word on it. It sounded German. Great, so we'll never know what it means. I said it sounded German. I never said it was German. Well, then why didn't you- The word was really strange. Don't even remember how you pronounce it. How did the news lady say it? Gehuven, Gehuven, Gehu, no. You're really struggling with this, aren't you? Shut up. I'm gonna get this eventually. G now, what was it? Gehub get. Yes! No, get. Yeah? Gehubin. Gehubinda. Gehubinda. Gehubin. Gehoibindact. That was the word. Gehoibindact? What kind of a word is that, dude? I have no idea. Look, I wasn't going to say anything, but what happened to my soda? Better question, why are you holding a spoon? I don't know. Where'd it go? Hey, Ruben. Yeah? How did we get here? I don't know. Well, that's a problem. Why? Because if we don't know how we got here, then how are we supposed to get back to where we were? Huh. Dude, what is this place? I don't care. Hey, Jerry, you know this is all your fault, right? My fault? What did I do? I don't know, but it's not my fault, so I'm blaming it on you. That's stupid. I know, but not as stupid as that word. What word? 
that stupid word on that stupid napkin. What does that stupid word even mean? I have no idea. Also, do you mean Gehumendact? Yes, that word. God, what a word. Since when do you care about words? <laughs> I don't, but that word is so stupid that it made me care. Ruben? Yeah? Say that again. Why? I want to test something. Fine. Gehubendacht. What a word. This time, say just the word. Fine. Gehubendacht. 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 Gehuben. I knew it was all your fault. You said that stupid word from that stupid news broadcast, you stupid, stupid man. Hey, Ruben, shut up. I didn't know it was supposed to do this, so shut your mouth before I. Hey, Ruben? Yeah, Jerry? I think I got an idea. I'm all ears. Really? Yeah. I don't think we can go through that again. Okay. Here's my idea. We close our eyes and forget this happened. That's your plan? Yes. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Three, two, one. Do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I was thinking maybe a sandwich. Like a Reuben? Very funny. I was thinking just a sub because my other one got stolen. When? I think it was when we were sitting on the park bench. Like when you said Gehoiben Duck? No, that was when... I remember now. It was when we... Greetings, my subjects. I am the supreme. Who are you? <clears throat> I am the supreme being, ruler of all the lands here and there and in between in the cosmos. You mortals have come far. I am. Uh, as you are probably wondering, I shall reveal the meaning to your existence. No, I wasn't wondering that. Were you? No. What? But you must want to know the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. No, 42. Uh, um, uh, well, you must want to know something about your lives. Why are they so important when they are insignificant in the vast array of the cosmos? What truly makes a human being? What does it truly mean to be alive? Oh, oh yeah, an open half there, buddy. We just sit around at home all day. Yeah, you got us all wrong if you think we care about that. But if that's the case, how did you end up here? Like my life, I think it was one giant mistake. I... Okay, how did you really get here? You would know better than us. We just got here. I see. Well, in that case, is there anything you want to know? Yeah, can I get a drink? I... I am not a genie. Sounds like a lame excuse. Give me a soda, you bum. Fine. So be it. Thank you. I also want a sub. <sighs> Very well. Hey, where's the mustard? We're all out. Be grateful, puny mortal. For I am the ruler Some of- Some god doesn't even have mustard on his- Give me a break! Silence! No! Oh, hey, you got that right in my eye. Serves you right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna start drinking my soda. Actually, there was one thing I wanted to ask you. Ask away, you magnificent creature. What does the word Gehubendacht mean? What? What kind of phrase is that? We heard about a guy writing it on a napkin before he disappeared. Then we started saying the word and everything got thrown off. Hey James, can you stop playing video games for one second? God, can you go look up the word Gehubendacht? 
Do it now! I don't care that you're on the last level! Get, give me, give, give, come on, come on, get over here. Give, give me that, give me, come on. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna wait for him to get back. Why does he do that? I have never been able to calculate it. This is the only thing he ever wants to do in his life. Yeah, I'm not surprised. How much soda's in that can? Thank you, James. Now go back to your stupid Call of Warfare or whatever. Ah, here it is. Uh, we had to go through the archives to find the word, because it's apparently a pretty old one. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. What? Apparently, that was the first word I ever created. And I used it back during the creation to change everything free from my will. What are you talking about? Instead of creating everything, I would simply mutter the word and everything would randomize. It went something like this. I'd look at something and then yell, Gehubendacht! And the world would change free of my control. So that's how you say it. Wow, that's interesting. You must really hate your job if you have to come up with something that randomizes it. Well, Deborah was back for the weekend, and I was really busy with some idiot trying to take over my throne, so it was kind of a bad week to be working. How do you remember that, but you don't remember what the word is or why you made it? I'm just reading what the archive entry says. I haven't used that word in like, man, I don't even know how long. Oh, I think that was like 6,000. But something still doesn't make sense. Why did that guy disappear? Why did we go to different worlds? This... it doesn't make sense. What does this all mean? Hang on, let me check. It says that those who learn of the word's existence are beholden to becoming one of my angels. Ooh, how exciting! We've only had one new angel in the last millennia, and he turned out to be a nervous wreck as well as a business criminal. <laughs> As you two have said the word, you are now eligible to become a part of my eternal army of angels. What word? Gehubendacht. Oh yeah. Step inside and meet your destiny. Become one of the most powerful entities in all reality. And join me in my kingdom above the cosmos for all eternity. I think we're good with not doing that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that sounds pretty boring. Boring? <coughs> what do you mean, boring? That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I'd rather not move unless I have to. Is there free food? You won't need food, for you shall be forever satisfied with my holy powers and never hunger again. Definitely a pass. Yeah, that sounds like it sucks. What? You puny lowlifes! Get in that door now! No! Yeah, no. Thanks for the offer, though. Get in that door, you imbeciles!